Good morning. Welcome to Nigeria Now, showing on your digital first Pan African news network, TOS Television. My name is Mesafol Hajin. We have Adebayo Fajimi to analyze some stories making the headlines on Nigerian newspapers. You're welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, we begin from, of course, the Blueprint newspaper and the banner headline there is Electoral Act. Federal government moves to delete section 84, subsection 12, uh, as National Assembly goes on appeal. We have three riders. The first, Katsina Senators, 25 others back out. And the second, reps to petition NJC over judgment. And Melami says provision shouldn't form part of our laws. That's coming on page six of the Blueprint newspaper. We do know that um, from the moment uh, recently, uh, the president just assented to this bill and it has generated a lot of controversies. And uh, people are saying, uh, this clause is, 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 is denying people their constitutional right of being voted for, of, of the ability to vote rather, and the ability to participate in the elections. And now um, the federal government have, has made a move to delete this section. And of course, we still have people talking that. Why are they doing so? What's your take on this? Yeah, um, I think uh, it is all political, but you know, um, to be honest, if you, fr from my own view, um, just like Mr. President said, I don't see a reason why you know, a political appointee should not be able to participate in a party convention, you know, uh, because uh, this particular clause says if you are a political appointee, you have no right, I mean, you cannot be a delegate and you cannot cast your ballot, mm. you know, in a party convention. So um, we can see the back and forth, you know, between the federal government and just yesterday, the, the upper chamber and the lower chamber, you know, move, I mean, made a move to ensure that they appeal the court, I mean, the court judgment, you know, that was given, you know, uh, so, some days ago. Mm. So, but to, to, be, to be honest, I think uh, that there should be a way, you know, the both uh, two hands of government can look at it to ensure that, you know, uh, whoever is a political appointee, what we are used to, you know, if you are a political appointee, is that uh, if you want to contest for any election, you have to resign and mm. you know and then go ahead with your with your ambition with your aspiration so but i think uh, the, the both hands of government need to you know come together and see how they can resolve this issue to ensure that you know those political appointees because you are first a politician even though um, not all political appointees are politicians but at least you you have a right you know to belong to a particular political party so mm. they should look at how you know they can resolve the issue so that you know people will not be disen disenfranchised you know in party politics and all of that okay of course that story is on the blueprint newspaper and you can find it on page six and uh, we have other headlines uh we see federal executive council approves 92.123 billion naira for abuja airport second runway that's on page seven from the very top we see apc governors is saying we'll stand by buhari's choice of candidate come the convention uh, two riders of first, Mustafa Adamu, others cleared, Akume satisfied. And Buhari hosts APC Chairmanship Aspirant. Of course, that's on page six. And um, we have a couple of other headlines there. We see 2023, Atiku declares pledges power devolution to federating unit. Two, uh, to address security, economy, education. And then Saraki intensifies consultation, meets reps, PDP, caucus. Um, we do know that yesterday um, we saw the former vice president of Nigeria, uh, Atiku Abuwaka, you know, coming out and stating his five-point agenda. And of course, he said a lot of things. But uh, what's your take on um, the, the event that happened yesterday? Well, um, I still strongly believe that um, if you put a wood in the river, in the water, let it spend a number of years it could spend. Mm. It will never be a crocodile. You know, so uh, our our um, our leadership system in Nigeria is very faulty. Even though I believe so strongly that our former Vice President that Abubakar, you know, has right as a citizen of Nigeria to vote and to be voted, voted for, for in any election, but um, well, it you know, talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. Even the the current administration will know what they promise us. You know before they come to power and they get there you know almost eight years now so we we could not see we, we could not really see much dividends of democracy and i don't even see i don't expect somebody like you know atikwa Obaka, you know coming out again even though it's his right and you know he's passing out to him whatever he wants to achieve before you know he, he leave the stage but you know uh what the, the five-part agenda 
a silent area uh, the unity nigeria is not united at the moment we need to be sincere our education system is faulty uh, then uh, and devolving our uh, more power to federating units you know it, it's part of what we have been conversing we have been for. talking about even the, the present administration also made mention of something like this you know but at the end of the day what do we get at the end so it is nothing so until we begin to be sincere and you know we 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 uh we eschew this deronton crazy leadership by the hold and all so it is high time all these people retire and just allow fresh mind people who can do things differently come into the system and sanitize our democratic I mean, democratic process i do know that um this is one thing that nigerians have been clamoring for but regardless uh, 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 uh we we have some sort of uh, uh will I say non-challenge when we talk about the youth and they are coming out to re re represent the country and everything because uh, we do know that when we talk about the youth in Nigeria, what age are we really looking at? So you were well, uh, under the constitution, if, if you are uh, 30, uh, if you are above 18, so you are already a youth, you are no more a teenager. So, but if you look at it um, uh, with the with the situation of the country, at least for for you to be able to say, okay, you are a responsible adult, maybe in your twenties, late twenties, and above, you understand. But if you look at the Nigerian factor, two things, two things. Even though uh, we youth that we're talking about, we have our own responsibilities, but there are a lot of carpet baggers and money bags, I mean money bags in policies. How many youth can afford, you know, the fund? The, the, the nomination form and, and, and all of that. Hmm. Somebody who is not yet employed, let alone you say, okay, you are satisfied, you have eaten, you have your family, you, you, and you, 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 you want to go and contest election. So it is, it is not made possible like that. All right. Uh, of course, we see that story on Daily Trust newspaper uh, from the very top there, talking about article and value in five point agenda. And of course, that story is on page 14 of the Daily Trust newspaper. And besides that, a National Assembly to appeal judgment on contentious electoral act section. Of course, we've spoken about that. The big story there is APC chairmanship. Governors bow to Buhari, agree on Adamu. We have a couple of writers there. Uh, we'll come back to this story very shortly. But on the Nigerian Tribune, uh, of course, the big story is still talking about the Electoral Act and uh, the uh, 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 National Assembly appeal and the judgment on the clause. And then uh, on the punch, the big story is the same thing. National Assembly plans appeal. Tacos George Malami insists on amendment. Uh, on the nation, we see Buhari governors agree on Adamu as consensus chair. Uh, let's go over back to the Daily Trust newspaper, talking about APC chairmanship and governors bowing to President Muhammad Buhari and agreeing on Adamu. Now, we, we see three writers. The first, the president he gives them 24 hours to finalize unity list. And the second, meets aspirants solicit support for excellence of our governor. And the third, orders a fund of money to contenders affected by consensus. What you say? Yeah, I saw this coming. Uh, apart from the fact that Mr. President is the leader of the party, is also a well-respected, uh, uh, you know, uh, leader in the party because his 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 words carry a lot of weight, and a lot of you know leaders in the party respect him a lot. You see, former governor of uh, uh, Bono State, um, um, Ali Madu Sheriff, you yeah. know, you know, uh, saying whoever Mr. President supports. Is, is the person is going to support and all of that. And if you see the narrative and you, the healer below this issue has generated, you know, in the, in the last couple of days, you will see that the moment he wins, everybody, you know, keeps smooth. So that tells you that they respect him and whatever he sees, whatever position he puts forward, everybody wants to support mm -hmm. just to ensure that, you know, they have a free rank called, you know, convention and they face 2023, you know, with a winning spirit, you know, to ensure that, you know, they, they they come back to power i think it's a very good one it's a very good one for the party all right uh then still on that paper of course we see a health story right there flu nigeria loses over two million birds in 391 farms that's in page 26 and all the headlines still says northern petroleum marketers to suspend sales over transport claims that's in page 22 for foreign airlines trapped funds in nigeria hit 117 billion now that's on 22 as well and Bandas released 75 kidnapped Zamfara residents with hold six-year-old girl. That's on page four. Thank you so much, Adibaya, for joining us today. It's a pleasure. And don't forget, viewers, you can always stay updated on our website, www.tostvnetwork.com. And our social media handle is at TOSTV Network on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you again for joining us today. We'll come your way again tomorrow. My name is Merciful Hajimo. Do have a wonderful day.